Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the topic of anonymity. So basically, anonymity is, you know, staying anonymous while browsing the internet. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to explain here, guys, uh, how to achieve complete anonymity while you're doing your Nmap scans. Right? Okay. So as you know, guys, if you go to Firefox and type in Google, And over here, we type our IP address. What is my IP? So as you can see here, this is my IP address, right? So I'm right, right now, everyone or, this, or the ISPs or the targets that I'm about to scan uh, will be able to identify my IP address. Now, I want to hide my IP address. At the same time, I want to encrypt the traffic between me and the target uh, which I'm about to scan using Nmap. So here we are talking about anonymous penetration testing. So a couple of stuff are needed basically in order to achieve that. First, we need to install Tor. So sudo apt get install Tor. All right. After installing Tor, you have installed the first requirements and you can make sure that Tor has been installed by issuing the command sudo service sudo service tor status. So as you can see here, I got the status of Tor and right now the anonymizing service is stopped. Tor is not running. So after you install Tor, make sure you issue sudo service tor status to display the current status of Tor. Okay, that's the first requirement. The second requirement is to install sudo uh, apt get install private proxy. Now, private proxy guys is a kind is a kind of proxy guys for HTTP browsers to integrate Tor with your web browser. So, private proxy is also a, is also kind of main component of your anonymity. Why right, to stay anonymous? So private proxy, and you got Tor. How to make sure that private proxy has been installed uh, correctly? All you have to do here, we're gonna issue sudo nano, no, without sudo, nano, etc, proxy, uh, no, prof, I think it's a private proxy. And we issue config. As you can see, it's the configuration file for private proxy, which means that we have installed the tool successfully. Now, the first thing we need to make sure, guys, that in order to achieve complete anonymity, first, we need to navigate down, all the way down, or we need to search for, I think, control W. And over here, we're going to search for forward um, SOC. Another one. It was somewhere here. Okay. So as you can see, we, we need to make sure that SOX forward, SOX 5 is enabled and it has the local host and the port 9050. Once you have the setup, it comes set up by default. So you don't need, just you need to make sure that the configuration are correct. So let's exit the file. And at the same time, we need to install proxy chains. sudo apt get install proxy chains. Right. Now after you issue that command, you go to nano etc proxy chains. Conf. and the file is here we go down uh, one quick note guys for the difference between dynamic chain and structured chain basically the structured chain um, if you are using a proxy server uh, if you're using some proxy server other than Tor I advise you guys to disable the strict scan and enable the dynamic scan right if you are not using an external proxy then you can keep strict chain enabled. We go down, down, all the way down. 
Okay, so over here, we need to add some entry socks 5, 172, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, Okay, uh, after you have uh, typed this, all you have to do is to, uh, save. I can't save since I am not sudo. So go back, sudo search for uh, sock. For ah, sock. Not found. Okay, socks five. On my two seven uh, zero zero one ninety fifty. We save. Okay. Now the last step, guys, is to um, run tour. Okay. Now the last step is to run tour sudo service tour start. Okay, how can we know or how can we verify that right now our IP has been anonymized? Let's go to browser here and connect again. As you can see, our IP is still the same. We need to close this window and launch proxy chains Firefox. Now, with that being launched, let's go to Google. And we have a problem. Um, okay, let's open the terminal and go back to the proxy chains file. Make sure that we haven't typed something wrong. sudo etc proxy chains conf. Hmm. Let's cancel the SOX5. Or let's comment this line. And go back to the browser. Connect. Seems like the SOX5 is not working. Let's go down. In this case, guys, just comment this line and enable SOX4 back. And I think it's going to work. Let's close that. Again, launch. All right. So let's type what is my IP. Uh, I don't understand this. This one? Okay. And this is completely normal, guys, since we are now navigating through Tor routers. Cars, one, three car, third car, fourth, five. Are we done? on oh, the fifth car. Okay. Sixth car. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay, we're done. Thank you. And over here, let's click on what is my IP. As you can see, guys, our IP has changed since we are connected to Tor exit node, which is Tor. And right now, we can safely, guys, launch in-map scan, and we can test that on Security Onion. Let's go back. In-map, or let's launch Security Onion first. Security Onion, mm, this one. Launch. So what we're going to do here, guys, we're going to issue an in-map scan against Security Onion and analyze the traffic with Wireshark or TCP dump. It doesn't matter. But in this case, we're going to use Wireshark and see how the in-map scan looks like on the, um, the targets when you use um, Tor network alongside your scan.
what I have on Security Onion. I'm still running, booting. Okay, in the meantime, let's talk about in-map switches that completely anonymizes our scan. So basically, how we can run nmap with store and proxy chain. First, we type sudo proxy chains. And then we type nmap. And over here, guys, it depends on your knowledge of the target system. OK. Uh, in my case, it's an internal client, so there is no firewall, no intrusion detection system I want to evade. But I'm going to show you guys how we can achieve that if you are doing um, a real penetration testing for a client, which you're not damn sure that they use um, firewalls. The first switch, guys, is to use the steel scan, which, as you know, it's a type of scan that doesn't complete the TCP handshake. It just sends the synchronization and doesn't send the acknowledgement back or send resets, uh, resets uh, packet. Still security on and running. OK. Now, after the this switch, guys, all we have to do, we need to type um, the fragmentation option. Fragmentation, or dash F, will fragment the packet into more than one packet, right? So the packets will arrive in stages, like you do when you choose um, uh, staged Metasploit payload, right? The same way, the packets will arrive uh, one by one, not, I mean, they do arrive all at once. That's how we receive and trick firewalls. And the third option is dash SS we have and dash F, and the third option is to use dec decoy scan. The decoy scan is the kind of simultaneous scan being run with Nmap. So we run two scans at the same time, completely from different IP addresses. So in my case here, how come I choose the, the safe IP address? Let me choose UTAB here and run sudo. Let's select an IP address from the network. Net discover dash R uh, one yeah, one zero. Good honor running. Yep. Okay. Thank you. So let's let's uh, let's launch Wireshark terminal over here. We type sudo Wireshark. Hmm, the password is wrong. Oh, it's not wrong. Okay. So let's go back and see the scan results. So over here, we haven't discovered any host. Let's be canceled and discover. It's kind of disappointing. Uh, let me go back to Nmap. And here. Oh, I think we need to. Okay, no problem. Nmap. And here we type uh, SN. Hit enter. On security onion, guys, let's launch secure before launching before launching Wireshark. Let's pick up an IP address like this one. I want to use this IP address as my decoy, right? So which means that I'm using this IP address to scan at this uh, with my IP address at the same time. So I fool the uh, firewalls or packet analyzers. The third option is we, we need to enable or we need to um, use the option dash pn. Why dash pn? We don't want to send big requests to the target. That's why. Um, the target IP, let's find out the IP address of security onion. Um, OK. Open terminal, click config, Ethernet 0, uh, it's on NAT network. So I need to um, do some adjustments to the network of security onion. So over here, we type bridge, since we are on bridge network. Click OK. Let's go down, clear, OK. 
up, 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 up. Oh, it's still the same. Okay, let's just start the network servers. sudo net service network manager restart. Stop. Start. Okay. Hit config. Oh no, it's still the same. Okay, let me do a quick restart. Again on this machine, restart guest. Okay, let's go back to Inmap now. And all we have to do, guys, all the all it's left is to type the IP address of your target and hit scan button or hit hit enter. That's one of the ways to um, establish some kind of uh, evasion, right? So you want to evade the firewalls. At the same time, you want to stay anonymous during your scans, if that is required from you while doing penetration tests for your client. Although this is not common since all your clients know your identity, so they don't need you to use some kind of anonymizers. This is for purposes outside of penetration testing. And I'm not responsible for this kind of purposes. Okay, security on has started. Let's launch terminal. And from here, we type sudo or shark. Okay, let's start now listening on the traffic. Listen, okay. Now we go back and over here, uh, let's go back, sorry. And new terminal, if config, my IP. Where is my IP address? It is still showing the native IP address. This is very weird. I don't want this to appear, I'm very angry. Okay, let me go back to my machine here and put NAT. So if config again, okay, now we can scan the target. 192.168.94.136. And over here, let's minimize that. Okay, now let's start the scan. So as you can see guys, here I'm expecting let me cancel the decoy scan since now I'm in a completely network, different network. So right here, we have the steel to scan, viral evasion, right? And we have the ping discovery disabled. That's the basic nmap scan to avoid firewall detection. It's very basic. We can improve on that uh, with a couple of additional switches, but we're gonna try that Additionally, to proxy chains to establish complete anonymity and uh, over the network. Okay, scan. All right, these are the ICMP request guys I have sent from my machine. These ones, right? Now let me go back here and disable the filter, recapture the traffic, and let's go back. Try to do the in-map scan again. That's a basic in-map scan, right? Without the without the all the firewall evasion and door anonymity options. sudo nmap dash sv Okay, as you can see, we have we got the in-map scanning appear in the Wireshark. Let's wait till the scan finishes and let's leave Wireshark capturing all the traffic. Okay, now let's pause the uh, sniffing and go to Wireshark filter 
and type IP source equal 192.168.14. Why? I want to filter the traffic from my IP address that I'm scanning from. We enter and we see guys here all of the TCP handshakes that have been sent from my IP address, right? As you can see here, guys, let's start with some packets. Let's go up. Uh, let's get this. This is synchronization request from my IP address to the target IP. Full TCP stream. Let's find more. So as you can see, guys, from here, my IP address has sent synchronization handshake right to the target and target respond with acknowledgement and then but my ip address has set some kind of um you know uh, slap on the face with reset um response now let's go back to nmap scan and see what happens when i scan with the right when i choose the ct scan And over here, let's start the tour service before that. Okay, sudo to service for start. All right, now sudo proxy chains um, nmap. Let's let's use the uh, steel scan and gonna spoof the MAC address of Cisco. Let's take a note of our MAC address here. So let's follow some, as you can see, uh, let's Make this a bit more. Okay. So if we highlight the Ethernet, this is the MAC address, right? Of this destination MAC address. This is my MAC address, right? It ends with 9C. Now if I type spoof MAC Cisco, my MAC address will be changed to one of Cisco's, right? The next option will be um, to use dash F. So we can evade firewalls. And we have one additional option, guys, is to use the deco scan dash D. And from here, I type an IP address from which I want to launch a simultaneous scan. To find that, let's run nmap dash SN We need an IP address, right? Additional one. So let's pick up some IP address here that ends with 92. We use it here as a decoy scan, right? So we want to fool Wireshark. We want to fool the firewall, let's say, in a real case scenario, into believing that there are simultaneous scans running from different IP addresses so they don't find about us. 94, uh, 2. Uh, let's disable host, uh, let's disable uh, DNS resolution. And we can also as well use additional option, guys. Um, it was the, let me, okay. We can use some kind of small, uh, slow scans, T, paranoid. But this will make the scan slow in an unimaginable way. Use that in only real case scenario. This is an option, you can use that, but I'm not gonna use it in this scenario, guys. I don't want to slow my scan. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's now define the target. One, nine, two, nine, six, eight, nine, four, nine, six. Let's cancel all of these options and type a regular scan like the one we, we uh, did in the last scenario. But in this case, we can use proxy chains. Okay. So it, the scan has worked, and let's see, guys, the difference. Now let's stop the capture, ip.source. As expected, there is nothing from our IP since I'm using proxy chains. Let's go down and see this is a weird IP address, right? And it is sending some kind of... Look at this IP, guys. Let's um, make that more and go down. So from this IP, we have only acknowledgement push, acknowledgement push. Right? Let's I'll go a bit down. More, 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 more. 
all the way. And here, let's do the scan again for proxy chains and see what we got. Ah, oh, okay. So here's the scan data again. Let's see what's the difference between when you run proxy chains with two and with, um, you know, without two. So let's stop, filter, IP source. Okay. Let me go back. The filter is not working, but as you can see here, we have, you know, as you can see guys, we have some synchronization packets being sent from my IP here at the source. It's all synchronization. Let's go down and find out more. All right, so if we type now, if we spoof our scan, our MAC address, well, if we spoof the MAC address, it's not gonna work. I expected that, okay. Let's use another trick here or I think I type this. Okay. Dash S. And let's capture. Again. Okay, let's examine one traffic or one packet and follow the TCP stream. Or we can go to statistics. And so the conversations are statistics here. Now, if you can click on conversations to, this, to see what's happening when we use um, proxy chains, to and uh, the seal to scan. So as you can see here, we go to IPv4, and we see the conversations, guys, uh, from our IP here. Our IP is 192.6894.133. And if we go all the way down, as you can see here, we have 2,008 packets have been sent from our machine. So we can apply that as a filter, A to B, and we click on OK, let's go down, and see here all the packets that have been sent due to the, uh, from the inmap, right? As you can see, guys, all of the packets are synchronization, synchronization. There is no, there is no full uh, picture of the TCP scan. Why? Because here we used um, the steel scan. All right, let's go down. Yep. Now, in case, now you might ask how I know that uh, the Tor has been in effect in my scan. Well, actually, since now we are scanning from an internal network, we cannot know, we cannot know for sure. That is why, guys, our IP here is appearing. But in case you are scanning from an external network, definitely the IP address of Tor or the exit node of Tor will appear instead of, of your IP address. Okay, I'm showing you guys what is the effect of that. Um, so if you go back to, um, where is that? What is this? Statistics, conversations, and note here, IPv4, at the packet size 2008, which is um, too loud, to trigger firewall, right? It's too loud. So let's go back to NMAP scan and reduce the scan size. So we can achieve that with the switch um, here. Let's put some kind of space. Data 
data length. And here we can define like the number of bytes. So it means that, which means guys, if data length 24 will add 24 bytes to our nmap packets. So take a note of the size here, 2004. If you go back, enter, let's see the effect of that. 34, okay, I forgot to just click on capture, go back. Okay, run again. Finished? Okay. Let's go now to conversations. Click on X and stop the capture. Go to statistics, conversations, IP. So you see here, guys, the packets have increased, right? 2011. Before it was kind of 2006, 2000 something, right? The packet number has increased in order to fool firewalls, our intrusion detection system. That's how you do that. Uh, what else we can do, guys, to evade firewalls and stay anonymous? And uh, that's it for today. Uh, make sure you follow all of these steps we have outlined in the video from starting or for installing the requisites, starting tour, making sure proxy chains is configured correctly, and use the correct in-map switches that evade firewalls, right? So that is for today. I hope you enjoyed that, and see you in the next video.